Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of this Manchester United Saves, episode number 14. Off camera, we played in a seven goal thriller against Atletico Madrid. We got off to a good start with Ivan Tony striking first blood, but he did respond instantly with Morata. What Atletico didn't know is that Tony can't be allowed time or space in the penalty area, otherwise, he's going to punish you. And just when we thought we was going to mop up with them, Lorente hit back with a cracker outside of the penalty area, making it 3 2. But let's take a look at this hit for Marcus Rashford, though, to make it 4 2. And then we pick them apart for the fifth goal. The last goal is a good example of Rembo. This is how football is supposed to be played. We played fierce rifles away from home and we handled them with ease. Rashford struck first with the opener. Hoyland nodded in the second. Ivan Tony hit Dala with an audacious chip. Rashford found the top bins from a nice free kick to cap off the three points also. We really need to talk about Ivan Tony and how lethal he's been in front of goal this season. And with Bournemouth, yeah, it was a snooze fest. We won 1-0 with an early goal from Ivan Tony. And guys, we have terrible news of Kobe Mainu. He's now out with a broken toe for three months. And with Pellistri leaving, we now have about 37.5 million left to spend on our budget. So now we can think about potentially bringing in a midfielder. But the issue is the two players that we did mention one of them is now over 80, which means he's now out of our um, reach in terms of who we can go for because we already signed two players over the o over the overall of 80. So Angel Gomez is now over 80, so he's out of our sights. Uh, the only player we can think about now is um, Xiao Neves. So it might be a scenario where we uh, scrap the central midfielder for January and focus on another position because I, I don't want to go for a C choice. Uh, a would be Xiao Neves, B would probably be uh, Angel Gomez and there's also other targets to think about. At the start of this episode we're going to be taking on Middlesbrough as you guys can see we are 7 points clear on the table, 7 points ahead of the side at 2nd, 3rd and 4th and that is City, Liverpool and Arsenal. Right outside of the top 4 is Newcastle United and Ivan Tony's in the race for the golden boot right now. He is 3 goals behind Erling Haaland who is 1st, he has 12 goals, Ivan Tony has 9 so his form picking up right now is uh, probably going to aid him in his um in his bid to get the golden boot hopefully we can see someone actually win it for us because Hoyland uh, wasn't anywhere near it last season and what you should come to expect in this episode is going to be a laid back episode we're going to have Middlesbrough Braga to cap off uh, the group G uh, group phase of the Champions League and then we're going to have Leicester City at the end of the episode at home at Old Trafford I think we waffled quite a lot in the menu so yeah let's get uh, to the business so in terms of the starting 11 we might just keep it the same I don't want to rotate too much I don't want to underestimate anyone in the Premier League right now and I don't want to drop points because right now we have a bit of a safety net having a seven point gap. I want to keep it that way. Uh, McTominay, we're going to keep him in the reserves because Hannibal's actually been coming off uh, coming off the bench, out of the fringes, into the first team. I feel like he's going to play well this, uh, this season if we continue to use him as a, as a fringe player. Bring him in uh, from time to time, not force him into uh, the action when he, where he's not supposed to be. Um, I feel like we're fine with the starting 11. So we can go with, actually let's change Garnacho for Anthony. Anthony's been playing really well off camera too. Okay, we're forced back. We're gonna go direct. Knock that down. Bruno, take a touch. Right foot strike. No, it's blocked. Let's go again. Who's this? Delo. Think that forward. Rasmus Hoyland. Rasmus Hoyland. Oh, almost find the back of the net. Goalkeeper charging down the shot. Still nil nil. Try to put in a challenge. Richards. Makati. Bangora, come on. Oh no. Premature. Again, another premature challenge. Oh, come on. Keep giving the ball up in silly areas. Look at that. Lovely football to play out from the back. Good passing. Got the line. There we go. Lovely movement off the ball by Anthony. Got. Oh, I thought Mount was going to head into the centre. Nope. Ball's cleared away. Rashford, what a finish. What a half volley on the edge of the box. I think it was inside the box. We lead 1-0 against Middlesbrough. Uh, look how all of that broke down. The ball was cleared out of the box. Didn't go as far as Rashford. It was inside the box, but he catches it on a sweet half volley. We love to see it. We love to see it. We're leading 1-0. Away from home at the Riverside. Kamavinga. Anthony. We've got Hoyland running over the top. We've overhit that one. All right. Not too much though. I'm gonna cross that one in. Rashford on a half volley. Not on a half volley. It was actual volley. <laughs> I thought it bounced for a second. 
goalkeeper is uh, forced to make a save. I thought I was going to go in, to be fair. Hit it hard and low. Good pressing there. Good pressing. Referee handball. Jones. McCatty. Put a foot in anybody. Okay, 37 minutes gone. It's still 1 0. Going to turn up the tempo, turn up the pace. Bruno. Oh, uh, yes. We got Anthony. Got Anthony in behind. Rasmus Hoyland. Dinked over the top. Laid it off. Mason Mount. Oh, there's a block. We find Rashford. Rashford. Oh, he doesn't find the back of the net again. The goalkeeper pulling off a fine save. Okay, back hill. Going to launch this direct. Rashford flicked it on. Back in. Knocked that down. Bruno knocks it down into Mount. Ball. Oh, yes. Yes. I was about to say, ball got, uh, got blocked with the shot from Mason Mount. And Rashford is there. With the spoils, he just launches it into the back of the net. Another goal, another goal for Marcus Rashford. He's in really good form also. We haven't really been highlighting him enough because everything's been about Ivan Tony. But yeah, Rashford, uh, he's playing really well this season. Long shot. <laughs> Trying to done off the goalkeeper. It's half time. Go on, Camavinga, 1-2 of Mount. Go on, Bruno Fernandes on the half volley. No. Keeps saying half. I don't know why. <laughs> it's not half. It's a full volley. Jones. Ugh, good in, good dispossession there by uh, Luke Shaw. Rashford. Ugh, taken out. Casemiro's making his way on. So is Hannibal. We're taking off Camavinga and Mason Mount. Rashford. Overlapping run from Luke Shaw. Let's go on the inside. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. Referee. That's a pen. Are you telling me that's not a pen? He didn't win any of that ball. Let's go. Let's try again. I think Rashford's on. He should be. He's on. 64 minutes on the clock. We're going to keep trying to stretch them out as much as we can. There we go. Hannibal in front of goal. Oh, Hemming again. Scoreline could be much worse. Ball crossed in. Casemiro. 3-0. 3-0. <laughs> Lovely ball in by Bruno Fernandes and the Brazilian does the honours. Far laser. Oh, he plays it into the gap. The low. He was naive to it. Allowing the ball in behind. Force. Force. Good challenge there by uh, Antonio Silva. Come on, deal with that. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, if that looped over his head, that would be rather disappointing. Oh, no. Force. Force is in behind. Force is in behind. Go on. Oh. Oh, no, no, he's done enough, but Onana's oh, taking him out. What's the referee going to do? What is the referee going to do? Don't do it. Don't do it. Give him a yellow. Be sensible, ref. He's giving him a yellow. Cool. Cool. We'll take that. Uh, that was the sort of performance you would come to expect of the side that's leading the way at the top of the table. We have won 3-0 against Middlesbrough. Four shots and two goals for Marcus Rashford in this game. I'm assuming he's man of the match. Uh, look at that 58% possession to their 42. In terms of man of the match, it is Marcus Rashford. Who else played well in this game? Uh, Luke Shaw, Antonio Silva, Bruno Fernandes. A bunch of players played well. Even Casemiro came off the bench bagged himself a goal as well so with scott mctonney he's playing down his contract right now let me know in the comment section below should we put him up for sale or sell him in january because he can be a good squad player at times but he's not played enough so far this season and he hasn't had the impact that he did last season as well it did take him at least halfway through uh, the campaign for him to warm up but he doesn't have until halfway through the campaign because we have to make a decision before someone comes in for him for free. In that last game, we played really well, but it was against a side that was sitting bottom of the table. Can we now do it against a side that's sitting third in the Champions League uh, group phase in Group G? So we've got Braga uh, to cap off the group phase. Is uh, match day six coming up next. Got rotation going into this next game. Onana's in goal. The lows at the back with Silva, Colwell and Malasia. In our midfield free partnership, it contains Casemiro, Mount and Fernandez. Garnacho's on the left hand side, Diallo's on the right, and we have Ivan Tony as our number nine. Cross the ball, pass by Colwell into the low. We're going to turn with Amad Diallo. Nope, he's taken out. Ball one cleanly. Well done, Casemiro. Diallo slip Bruno Fernandez down the wing. Going to cut that back. The low dinks that into the middle. Cleared out by uh, the defender. What's happened here? Is he pointing to the sport? What's he done? I think it's just a free kick. I was confused for a second. I have to say, we was going to need VAR for that decision. <laughs> the low. Diallo. <sighs> Try to find Bruno in behind again. We are trying to go direct. Sometimes it doesn't pay off. 
Just need to make sure that we don't get caught out on the counter. Well done, Dolo. Really strong at right back. Oh, good interception by Mount. He tussled him for the ball with Banza. He don't come out with it. Uh, Marion, well done, uh, Casemiro. Helps win the ball back. Garnacho drops the shoulder, gets past the full back. Got uh, Ivan Tony, who's in behind. Ivan Tony got an option in the middle. That's a uh, Mason Mount. Referee's taken out Mason Mount. We probably should have shot first time, but I kind of panicked. But we've been taken out by the keeper. Uh, nothing but a warning. Uh, go on, Ivan Tony. It's got a laid back penalty. Top bins. Saved. <laughs> it's saved. Oh my god. Now I feel like we should have just shot first time. Surrounded by green and white shirts, and uh, he doesn't know what to do with the ball. Garnacho, fine ball control there. Gives that to Mount. Back into Garnacho. Gonna find Mount on the left hand side. Ball goes in, back post. Go on, Bruno. It's cleared out by Adrian Marin. Go on. Support, support. There we go, Bruno. There we go, Bruno. Oh, I was aiming for Ivan Tony. Gonna. Have another crack at Ivan Tony. Left foot strike. 1 0. Keeper doesn't even move for it. He didn't expect that. Neither did I. It fell kindly to the English striker. Look at this knockdown by Casemiro. Completely catches them off guard. Look at that. Rifles it into the bottom right corner. Left foot strike. Hit sweetly. Antonio Silva into Colwell. And they give that to the left. Malasia. Gonacho. Oh, Try to find Malasia in the gap. Uh, Almaz Ratti. On the ball. Oh, he does it to us. Does it to us. Banza. Okay, uh, this is an opportunity for Braga now to strike back. We've got the numbers back, though. Go on. Well done, Mount. He does well to track back, but they still find a way to get the ball in behind. Oh, no, no. With a fine save. Hasn't had much to do. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Get it out. Well done, Delo. Oh, we've got Diallo in the box down. He needs to get back up. Good interception there. Oh, Diallo's out. Diallo's out. More injuries. This is what happens. We get to December. We pick up more knocks. More niggles here and there. Hopefully this one isn't serious either. But he has to come off, it seems. He's actually playing well. It's uh, sad to see him leave the field. Yeah, he landed on his leg. Uh, Anthony's on now. It's just uh, been a lot of passing around the back. Which has uh, been given a lot of the ball. And they've got all 11 men behind it. All over the top into Ronnie Lopez. Well done. Oh, Antonio Silva still doesn't win the ball after that collision. Well, he had it there. Oh, ball in behind. Water. Oh, yeah, he sent us. He sent us. He's doing the most. Okay, we're going to clear our lines now. Uh, a bit of a scare as we head off into the interval. So, a slow start to the second half. Not entertaining at all. There we go, Garnacho. Plays it into Mason Mount. Oh, yep, yeah, things are slowing down. Give that back to Garnacho. Casemiro, Bruno, into Ivan Tony on the volley. Mateus, he tips it out. I think Garnacho's offside. So pressure him. Oh, we've allowed him up the line. What is Garnacho doing? I don't feel like either side is willing to give up anything right now. Come on. Oh, Bruno, what is going on here? Bruno, give an opportunity to run through. And then uh, again, Onana pulls off. A fantastic save when he shouldn't be. Right now, it should be 1 1, but if it wasn't for him, yeah. <laughs> uh, Hannibal's going to make his way on the field, so it's Rasmus Hoyland. And uh, this is a dangerous position. Definitely a dangerous position to be in. And I don't want this to fly in, so we're going to have Kamavinga there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he had to be there. He had to. Come on. Counter attack now. Anthony gives that to Rasmus Hoyland. Oh, let's go. The Dane. The Dane should put this one away. We need some. Options though. No, we don't. The Danes right in front of goal. 2-0. 2 0 The game's put to bed. We finally got the all important goal. That all important second. And now we have that affordability, that comfort to now rotate a bit more. So we've got Fernandez on for uh, Malasia. Oh, Garnacho's just giving it straight to a Braga player. Edouard. Plays on the outside. Victor. Edouard inside the penalty area. There's a block in from Fernandez. Banza. Well done at the low. Neat interception. Doesn't make a mess of it. There we go, Anthony. Rasmus, don't run away too fast. There we go. Link up. Rasmus, 
Go oh, well done, Rasmus. He rides the challenge. There goes uh, Mejbri. There goes Mejbri. There goes Mejbri. It's 3 0. We've hit them for free. Hannibal Mejbri off the bench. Oh, well done, son. Well done. You've broken into the first team and you've gone and put the game to bed. Oh, look at that. Rasmus Hoyland. He rolled those challenges. He did really well. Persevered. Slips in uh, Hannibal Mejbri and we slip the ball in from the near post. Oh, bands up, burst into the penalty area. Bumps it at the near post. It's 3 1. I did not expect that. He rocketed it right past our nine up. There's a consolation for you. It was late. It was late. We left it late, but that doesn't matter. We got the three points in the end. Six for six in Group G were perfect. It was quite a 50 50 game up until the point where we scored the first goal of the game. 2.6 XG to their 1.2. And Rasmus Hoyland manages to get man of the match as well, which is uh, lovely for the day in goal and an assist. What's wild is a couple games back, he actually couldn't buy himself a goal. Uh, he had a bit of a drought, and it's actually good to see him bounce back. Diallo's out of a dislocated shoulder. So he's going to be out for two months. That's going to be rather annoying. So uh, at least we don't have that uh, winger dilemma. Because right now we've managed to keep uh, Garnacho, Anthony and Rashford fit simultaneously. So uh, we haven't had an issue with our immediate first team players on the wing. But uh, yeah, having that extra option in Diallo was a safety net. And with Pellistri going in January, I wonder if we could survive the whole of January with the fixture congestion. With choice A and choice B not looking likely in January, we have to think about Hannibal Medjby because he has come in from the fringes and done well. He can play as a box to box midfielder and he can play in the 10 role. So he is the solution as a backup for uh, Bruno, maybe short term wise. I don't see it as a long term thing right now. And box to box uh, wise, Mason Mount's kind of getting tired here. And there so he's guaranteed to get games here and there we still could go in for a central midfielder but like i said a and b doesn't seem likely so maybe hannibal mejbri is the plaster that uh could probably uh, heal up the wounds for now or put a band-aid over the wounds i should say okay so for the last game of this episode uh, this is how we're gonna look so we've got a uh, hannibal on the bench and so is alvaro fernandez we have rotated quite a bit we've replaced a uh, god natural with anthony got casemiro in for camavinga uh, ivan tony remains in the squad and uh livermentos in for the low it's been a minute since we won all three games in the episode so let's uh, end this episode with a fantastic performance all slipped in behind Ian Nacho. They're going to try to do the cutback thing. Nope. <laughs> he walks right into Onana. Silver on the ball. Just made a bit of an opening there. Oh, come on. Just to see our setup really defensive. It's really hard to break them down when they've got all the men behind the ball. Oh, there's a mistake. Come on, let's pounce on it. Let's pounce on it. And uh, we've done that. Oh, come on. Go on, Luke Short. Casemiro is going to carry this ball into dangerous territory. But what was that, Anthony, man? Shield the ball. Oh, Antonio Silva sent there. Mavadidi. Mavadidi plays the ball into the box. Go on, Luke Short. Clears it out. Fantastic clearance. Rashford chops. Got uh, Anthony. Anthony make the run down the right hand side. What, what's, this? what's he playing at? Been singing his praises and he just goes and does whatever. Never did he. This is what we don't need. I won the ball. I'll shut up, referee. We won the ball, man. We clearly saw that we won the ball. We shouldn't go sliding in there, but we won the ball. Look at this. Makes contact all day long. Uh, yeah, Nacho. Yeah, Nacho. 1 0 for Leicester City. Uh, we need to bounce back. We shouldn't really go down in the penalty area. I know that it's, it's a basic rule. Yeah, Nacho. Well done, Lissandro Martinez. It's not enough, not enough. Come on. Keep going, keep going. Anthony, Bruno, Fernandez. Come on, Anthony. Bust the gut to get further. Like, what? He needs to come off. He needs to come off. Yeah, Nacho. What a save by Onana. Oh, uh, come on. Come for that. What's what's going on here? What's going on here? It's, a, it's, a, it's all a mess right now. From top to bottom. From the goalkeeping position to the forward line. Anthony can't decide whether he's going to tuck in or stay wide. 
There we go. What are you doing, Bruno? Let's go. Luke Short. Oh, Rashford. Try to find him on the inside. It's really annoying. Really frustrating. That first half was really frustrating. We need to make a few changes. Three changes at the interval. We mean business because we want to turn things around. We want to get the equaliser as early as possible in the second half so we can uh, come away with all three points. Real frustration brewing right now. Good stuff there by Mason Mount. Garnacho gets past uh, Toti. He does really well. Go on, Garnacho. Coming in from the right side with a one on one opportunity with the keeper. Hermanson pulls off a save. Uh, we need to put in a beautiful cross now. Come on. Find someone's head. Find someone's head. Go on. Ivan Tony finds the top corner. Uh, when we need him, he steps up. Ivan Tony has found the equaliser. Okay, we're all level now. All level. Bit of a coming together in the centre circle. Referee needs to actually ref the game. Already got two players out. Look at that. Bruno's got a knock it already. Too many knocks all in one goal. Ball over the top. Go on, Ivan Tony. Get to that. Satar with the interception. And that Connor Cody there to help out. Well done. Well played. Good stuff. Hoyland turns. How does he win the ball? How do I just lock off the ball and he just nicks it from behind? That's just crazy. Uh, it's a lot of possession play from Leicester City. Come on, we need to do better than this. Oh, uh, yep. What a save by Onana. He has to play some shocking football. They hug the ball around the back and when they get forward, they're just difficult to tackle. They do the strafe dribbling in around the penalty. Look at that. Look, and no one can get near them. And they're switching me to the wrong players. Complete wrong players. Who goes in? Can we deal with that? Let's go. Let's go. Counter-attack. Counter-attack is on. Go on, Alejandro. Up against Toti. Referee, man. That is cynical, that. You know what his intentions were. But that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Rasmus, Rasmus Hoyland's in the middle. It doesn't lock me on to Rasmus Hoyland. It doesn't change me to Rasmus Hoyland to attack that cross. What is wrong with this game? Look at the percentage in the last 15 minutes. 17% possession. They've just been hogging the ball. Oh, come on, Bruno. You're, 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 you're driving me up the wall now. You're driving me up the wall. You're my last nerve. We need... Oh, are you sitting? Nah, oh, come on. You're having, a, you're having a bubble. Like, little feints, little strafe dribbling. Well, I can't wait until we get a goal against the run of play. I really can't. Come on. Rasmus Hoyland, Rasmus Hoyland, keep it under control, keep it under control. Referee, he's on him, referee, he's on him. I told you, against the run of play, we've got the winner. Rasmus Hoyland, 2-1. Uh, there we go, I'm happy, I'm happy. What a breakaway. Uh, Rasmus Hoyland has sent this stadium into some sort of eruption. Look at that, what a finish, under a lot of pressure, being dragged. Referee's not helping us out, doesn't matter. The day he can find the ball right corner. Only a few minutes left to go. And this is a sign of true champions. If we're going to retain this title, we've got to have uh, these sorts of performances where we don't deserve to win, but we find a way to win. That's what matters at the end of the day. We're going to do a bit of a time wasting of our own since they, they've enjoyed doing that while they were 1-0 up. There we go. Final whistle's gone. We end this episode with a 2-1 victory. Probably not the result that you guys were hoping to see. Uh, to cap off the episode but we did show fight determination and a bit of grit we should have gotten a goal down there's a uh, a lot of uh misjudgment misjudgment uh, at the start of the game by me a solid performance from antonio silva as per usual yeah so it was a game where we were dominated by the underdogs so yeah 1.6 xg for uh, leicester city we had a poor game at home and one player that did play well at home was antonio silva i did mention him towards the end of the game he was really um really good at, uh, in the battles with the 50 50 battles I'm telling you guys there's only just the beginning it's only just the beginning season two we're not playing perfect football but it's getting there it's getting there we have switched tactics 
midway um midway through the the, the rebuild so we we have scrapped the three at the back for now because we haven't got the personnel for it and i feel like this um uh, 4 3 3 system is getting there it was a late dramatic goal from rasmus hoyland but he helped to secure the three points so we're back on top well we've been on top we're back uh, on top with a seven point gap i wanted to say i should have said it all together but yeah <laughs> when it comes to the rest of the table um as you guys can see manchester city there beneath us their second place uh sharing 37 points on three sides newcastle liverpool and arsenal in that exact order so the top four race is heating up we are trying to make the title race one-sided if we can continue to get uh, results off camera and on camera then i feel like we could probably have the title wrapped up by april and we can probably challenge for the champions league that is the goal for this season uh, we haven't really achieved much at this point because we did get knocked out quite early in the carabao cup but yeah things are going to start getting um getting a bit more serious once we get past january and bruno fernandez is in the form of his career as per usual he is at the top of the charts when it comes to form ivan tony's right beneath him the has been playing well so has silver pretty much the back four has been playing really well and levi corwell and uh felix guess has even gone up by two overalls is now 66 there's not a lot to announce or not a lot to mention but i feel like that's something to highlight uh, because he's been playing really well off camera but yeah if you made it this far smash that like button sub to the channel if you are new we are going to try to be back with another episode on a daily basis if we do miss a day i am sorry it's either due to rendering or a, ma a messy schedule but uh yeah we are trying to get back to consistency 2024 hasn't really well i haven't lived up to my own expectations in 2024 but you guys have definitely been here to support the channel which is something i'm always grateful for you guys already know i'm always going to uh, show appreciation come the end of the episode but yeah yeah remember to hit the notification bell as well i forgot to say that so you're notified when i upload a video uh be sure to tune in for the next one take care for now peace